there it is. Hey, greetings, and welcome to Sonic Weekly, your source for Sonic on a weekly basis. My name is Bo. Hey, I'm not Grant. I've got with me instead smoothies. Whoa, hey, it's uh, it's me. Uh, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> and we've also got the star of the show. Hey, it's David the Lurker. Whoa. Oh, hi. Hi, Bo. Hi, uh, Smoothies. Uh, yes, it's me, and I'm here, and we are Grantless. That's right. Uh, this is, I guess, the first time that we've been Grantless uh, at all. We were Bowless for a while, you know, and when you're out on the ocean and you don't have the the bow of the ship, is that what it's called? I don't remember. I think it might be a, a bow. Yeah. A bow. <laughs> Port bow. Well, I like to call it the bow. <laughs> God. Uh, right. So, so we are we are Grantly. He's off doing a thing, which I guess he'll he'll tell us next week. Is that is that Sizzle? Because like I don't I don't know what he's doing. He's he's. I, uh, I think it is Sizzle. You know, this is our our project together, but we mm-hmm. have projects independently. So you know, Grant is off doing his thing. I'm doing the Rings of Saturn. You guys are doing. The FTCR, uh, you know what? What's up with that lately? We, t- tell us about what's happening on on that feed. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, do you guys like let's plays? <laughs> or I guess rather, we we kind of I don't know. We sort of do those, but we mostly do Sonic discussions now. We just we just do more of this over there. Uh, yeah, yeah. You do a sonic discussion in the computer room for the computer room, right? Whereas this is for yeah you know, everybody else. Yes, based off of the hit two thousand five meme, find the computer room. It was very funny back then. I think maybe it was. Yeah, and we're just uh, stuck with it now. Uh, are there any memes you guys wish would come back? Like you bought stock and all your base are belonged to us in two thousand one, and you've just been hanging on to it. That's a good question. I'm trying to think. Like, what was a really good meme? <laughs> I I saw, I guess, somebody for April Fool's, somebody dragged out Mr. T vs. Everyone. Do you remember that? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a... You know, for, for those who don't remember, it was a series of websites where Mr. T would go up against some sort of adversary, and they were on GeoCity sites, and they were on... I feel like it was that, and there was also the... <laughs> For whatever reason, the ate my balls phenomenon. Do you remember those those websites? I as was well? going to ask, did I hallucinate that was also Mr. T? It it is. I, you Mr. Read my T, mind. yes, Mr. T ate my balls. But then people did spinoffs where other persons of interest <laughs> consumed other balls. Um, the the internet was was still young and and innocent, and so any depiction of said balls, I think, was just like a circle. It wasn't actual visualized. Uh, testicles, which maybe we'll talk a little bit about in the news later, but uh, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, we got you know we we talk about all sorts of Sonic news, but you know that's that's not the top story. We'll talk about that in a in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hey, yeah. Um, FTC. Our last video was at the end of February. We recorded something. It'll come up soonish. Is Zach good enough for Sizzle? Okay, well, uh, <laughs> that's a good Sizzle. Uh, I'll join the FTCR web web ring. Oh, that's what we need to bring back, web rings. They're like competing <laughs> Sonic web rings, as I recall. Oh, right. Because like, oh yeah, we, we do stuff. But Bo, I think you're a lot more organized than us. What have you been up to? <laughs> uh, I don't know how organized it is, but uh, on Rings of Saturn, I've got something mm-hmm. thematically appropriate. I think by the time listeners hear this, it will be the day of or maybe just after the solar eclipse. So I'm not doing something about the real solar eclipse. I'm doing something about the Saturn video game called Solar Eclipse, also known as Titan Wars of the other regions. Whoa. Oh. Uh, do, you, do you guys remember this one? <laughs> uh No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really remember it much either, but um it is kind of like a space shooting game and the the innovative part of it uh is that it had like actual live action actors Ooh. playing out like all the cutscenes and um like the reviews were not very kind to it. Like um this one from Total Saturn magazine said you'd expect a better standard of acting from a cow, <laughs> which you know, I didn't think the acting was that bad, but I think the script is, you know, not great. But 
I watched uh, some cutscenes. They weren't that bad. That's so rude. It seems like kind of a generic spy, sci-fi space show, right? But it was a Saturn. A- FMVs were all the rage. Right. Yeah. It could have been the way games evolved. Was you hired actors and all the cutscenes were actors, but uh, that's not the way things went. Uh, any, anyway, for my purposes, the interesting thing about this game is that it has sixty different cheat codes, most of which are not known to the world uh, until. I published the thing that tells the world about them. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, that's the Rings of Saturn news is this, this game that nobody really remembers very well. Uh, you, you can put in some button codes and do different stuff with it. Well, because it's a game nobody knows, they playing it now, it's like it's brand new. Like it came out yesterday. And to match the nostalgicness of it, you, you, get, you, get, you get cheat codes. Everyone loves cheat codes. Everyone loves putting buttons. Games need to bring back cheat codes. One of these brings you to a secret level where the faces of the development staff attack you. Uh, like you're in a spaceship and then they're like coming at you and shooting lasers at you. And then the development staff, like their pictures are all over the credits. Like it seems like they were having a pretty good time uh, making this game. This one is 95 yeah. from Crystal Dynamics, makers of Gex. Whoa, Gex! <laughs> fan, I know fan. that guy. Hey, I heard Gex is coming back. Did Gex ever leave? Ge- um. Uh, yeah yeah he left <laughs> he he was kicked out he was kicked out of his apartment for not paying rent gex has been living uh at his mother's for years it's it's early days i am looking into gex i may may have some gex things to share oh. in, in in the future but in, in looking into solar eclipse you know egm said um you know the best feature of Solar Eclipse is its speed, its worst feature is its enemies, mm. and you should also try its C- or its prequel or the game that came out before it called Total Eclipse. And then for Gex, they said its best feature is its humor, its worst feature is that there's nothing new with it, and you should try any other mascot game. Wow. So they were not kind kind to Gex. They weren't. But it's but Gex is coming back, right? The Gex trilogy <laughs> was announced last year. Uh, I don't. I don't think Solar Eclipse is getting a re-release anytime soon. So those who invested in Gex, I, th- I think you're getting your money back. <laughs> yeah, if you held on to your Gex stock, you're you're gonna do well. If there was ever a Saturn Mini, would you want to see Solar Eclipse on it? Oh, that's interesting. So I, it wasn't an exclusive, right? So no, not really. I think I would just want the exclusives on there. Okay. Oh, uh, well. Oh man. That would be a good topic. What would you put on your Sega Saturn Mini? Uh, but we haven't thought about it. Well, here, Bo, throw out <laughs> 10 games you would want on a Saturn Mini. <laughs> okay, well, I think like the Sonic ones are a shoe in right? So mm-hmm. Not Jam. You can't put Jam on there. That's... Okay, j- no, yeah. come on. You can <laughs> put Jam in there. <laughs> those, are, those are all Genesis games, though. Yeah, yeah but they're I, on I think... the Saturn. <laughs> Let's exclude Jam, but okay, so Knights, okay. Burning Rangers, mm-hmm. 3D Blast, mm-hmm. those are yeah. kind of the obvious ones. Right. Um, I would put Clockwork Knight, both of them, oh. in there. Okay. You know, shout out to the Clockwork Knight fans on here. Uh, and then you've got a, a wide selection of fighting games to do. If I had to pick like the top three, it would be Fighters Mega Mix, Fighting Vipers, and Virtua Fighter 2. Okay. Okay. Two more. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm playing all the hits though. I like I want to give you like kind of the Saturn connoisseur answer. It's like yeah. okay, I could say Saturn Saturn Bomberman's got to go on. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then you got to do like the racing game. There's an obvious one you're missing, Bo. Of the racing games, you got to do Sega Rally, I guess. I don't know what's, what what are you thinking? That's obvious. Well, Swagman, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you get Swagman on there. That wasn't an exclusive, though. That was on the PlayStation. All right. God damn it. Hey, yeah. but you know, there, there were some g- good versions. Like, I would say throw Mega Man 8 on there because it's got those Saturn exclusive bosses. Oh, yeah. There you go. I, I didn't do pa- the Panzer Dragoons of the, right. of the ones I would do the second one. Yeah. They're all good, but all, all three of them are good. Right. I, I guess if we would really, like, give it, like, super really proper thought it'd be like okay how many games would it be like would it be it probably wouldn't be 40 <laughs> no it'd probably be like 20 it how many games were on the that uh ps1 uh mini that everyone hated <laughs> <laughs> you google it david i don't want to uh, do that uh playstation mini <laughs> you're asking the question it says 20 oh 20. there were 20 
Right. I'd say because it's Sega, it would be it should be at least twenty five. Uh, because Sega's better oh. than Sony, clearly. <laughs> Sega never released Morbius. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's so bad. I'm sorry. Were there any Digimon games on Saturn? Oh, uh, it's a little early for Digimon, right? I don't know when the Digimon. They were on PS1. Were they? Okay. Mm. I don't think so, but there's a lot of Japanese only games that. Like, there's a couple Dragon Ball Z games on there. There's a uh, Tamagotchi game that never came to the States. There's uh, pop culture games that aren't there. there. Uh, going to be honest, everything I've learned about the Saturn is through Rings of Saturn. So <laughs> it's been an educational experience. There is a Japanese-only Saturn game for Digimon. Oh, there you oh. go. Yes, uh, Digital Monster Version S, Digimon Tamers, which I don't know anything about, but it came out in 98. Okay, well, maybe I need to go over it and see what, what may be hiding within. Oh. All right. See if there's any secret Digimon in there. Could have... I, see, here's the problem with games that I don't know, is I could stumble across, like, mm-hmm. a secret that would rock the fandom to the core, and, like, I'd be like, oh, okay, I, I guess that's part of the game. I don't know. <laughs> so I've been, like, trying to, like, reach out to people to say, like, hey, is this anything? And, you know, sometimes the answer is, like, whoa, this is something. Like the Bomberman Phantom, they were they were pretty excited about the two extra characters. Mm-hmm. You know, ho- hopefully we can responsibly disclose these things. It was also that weird uh, Tamagotchi game on the Saturn with uh, Sonic. You could get Sonic at the end. Uh, the way- yes, you're right. The thing I know about that game is that it came with a special like backup cart, like what they used for saves <laughs> on the Saturn. And if you erase the save that's on it, you can never get it back and you can never play the game the same way. All right. Well, I, yeah, I guess you, you'd want to prioritize, prioritize anything that's only on the Saturn that nobody ever gets anywhere else. Yeah. Or v- games where like, oh, they were on other platforms, but there were Saturn specific things that have just never carried over anywhere else. Yeah. Like the Saturn version of 3D Blast, like Mega Man 8. Is there anything special about the Saturn version of Tomb Raider? Uh, I think no. I've looked into a little bit of the Tomb Raider stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Tomb Raider, there's like a ton of like demos, all from pre-final. So like the the Tomb Raider fans have kind of combed over them pretty thoroughly. But yeah, I don't know if the, the Saturn one has any advantage over the PlayStation one or the PC one. Right, the PC one is probably the best version of a Tomb Raider. Oh, look at this. Someone made a Wikipedia article uh, called Sega Saturn Only Games. Hey, there you go. I'll put it in the uh, here. You know what the mini, if Sega were to do a mini, is there were a ton of Saturn games that were like done, ready to go, that got canceled and never released. And we know like some of them prototypes were uh, leaked out, but there's a lot they just scrapped. And that's what they should do is like, here's the, the second half of 1998 in Saturn games. Oh, man. Like when Nintendo released Star Fox 2 on the Super Nintendo Mini. Yes, oh, yeah. exactly. That's right. Oh, Virus is an exclusive Saturn game, according to this list. Ooh, Virus is on my list to look into. Would you want Scud the Disposable Assassin? I don't... Uh, it's not very good. I looked into it. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't know. Oh, there's... Mr. Bones. You gotta have Mr. Bones. <laughs> oh, I can't believe Mr. Bones is only on the Saturn. <laughs> yeah mr bones is like among like saturn heads is like a punchline about like <laughs> and then he brought out mr bones and the party died <laughs> oh congo the movie the lost city of Zzz. i have that game i've never played it but i have that game three dirty dwarves that's a winner okay there's, there's the shining series yeah right there's games on this list that like oh there was also a pc version because like Panzer, the original Panzer Dragoon isn't on this list. Right, this Wikipedia list is a little... Sonic R isn't on this list because there was a PC version and there's a Gems Collection oh, version, right. but I mean, like, at its core, that's a Saturn game. Yeah. So, yeah. You know. Oh, Lunacy. That's a weird game. That's like an FMV game, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a... Uh... Well, why don't you write into the pod and tell us what you would have <laughs> on this Saturn Mini... Right, yeah. If you email us a cool <laughs> list of uh, of games you'd like to see, we'll read them out. We'll have a we'll have a grand old time. We'll have actual audience interaction, which I feel like. Hey, we do most of that in the Discord. Are you in the Discord? Email us. 
Listen at the end of the show to find out how. At the end. <laughs> yeah. Fast yeah. to the end. Yeah. Listen to the whole thing. Yeah. If you're that desperate. <laughs> Hey, what else is what's actually going on in the in the new? Hey, Bo, thank you for your update. Yes, thank you for your updates. This is a Sonic podcast. Come yeah, we got to bring it in. We gotta, yeah, we got to we got to get out of orbit, and we have to go right to the ground and find out what's up with Sonic. Dun, dun, dun. That's the song. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Hey, we have a really nice list of news that was put together by. Our old pals movies, who is um not replacement grant, Bo's replacement grant. So I guess movies is replacement <laughs> Bo. So really right. you should have been talking about the Saturn this whole time. It's movies. Uh, that's right. I should have. And and Bo, you should have been talking about uh anything and everything really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're recording this app after April Fool's Day, which maybe you figured out because it's also released after April Fool's Day. Did everyone have a jolly good joke time? No. The only one that got me is the Hidden Palace Discord. They changed their icon to say there were unread notifications. And I thought, where are these notifications? <laughs> ah, they got me. Oh, that That is a good one. <laughs> uh as someone who always forgets what the day is, mm -hmm. uh, I hate every April Fool's because I'm like, I don't know it's April 1st. And then I see things. I'm like, oh, that's strange. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm the I'm the I'm always the April Fool. <laughs> always the fool and never the bride. Uh, that's <laughs> that's the phrase. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy April smooths, everyone. That's right. I, I was sitting here going, oh, wait, like last year, did we talk about exciting April Fool's uh, Sonic of years past? I didn't bother to check. It was Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, right? That, that was what happened last year, yeah. Uh, Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, which yeah. everyone loved. Uh, I think it became the highest rated Steam game, uh, Sonic <laughs> Steam game, not Steam <laughs> game of all time. Um I, I didn't I didn't pay close attention to see if people were like, oh, I can't wait to see how, you know, they follow up that. And then the wave of disappointment where they didn't uh, <laughs> they didn't make a sequel. They didn't make another game of any sort. Sega's official April Fool's, I guess, was was definitely more well uh, understated this year. Right, Sega like recently had a bunch of layoffs. You can't expect them to give you another free game. What do you? What? <laughs> oh, well, then they just hire random people. I mean, there was Katie, of course, like she was in charge. But like the we're saying, Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog is a low interest rate phenomenon. Well, they could have done a sequel and then charged people. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Play the long game. The first one's free. Yeah. The first one's always free. Pay up and we're we're really going to kill him. <laughs> yeah. The the base game is free, but you have to pay for the DLC. Yeah. Oh, man. Like the DLC could have been right after where like they're on the platform. They're all laughing. And then the uh, the, the character I, is Barry. What was his name? I mean, you named him whatever you wanted to name him. But was it Barry? Barry the Quokka, the right? Quok yeah. yeah. So it would it would pick up with him and he'd be like, oh no, but there's an actual murder because they would go into the station and find a, a real body on the floor. And Sonic <laughs> would be like, whoa! <laughs> we gotta, gotta solve this fast because the DNA evidence will degrade. Oh god, I don't... <laughs> I didn't think this one out at all. Well, yeah, hey, there were there were a couple. There were a couple a couple jokes. A couple jokes. The the Sega account did a lock on technology thing with a big old Sonic head. And I just and a mention about bare feet. <laughs> and that upset me. Right, I guess the shtick was, oh hey, it's 1991 and we're releasing not DLC, but CLC cartridge loadable content and yeah it was like Sonic you've got that right cartridge loadable content experience Sonic the Hedgehog in a whole new way with a whole lot more features big head mode got it Sonic the Hedge yes ma'am and if you're lucky you might even get to see Sonic's big old trotters and all their shoeless glory trotters with our all new barefoot Sonic mode Ugh. trotters just don't make it weirder than it already is so get ready to stick Stack cartridge after cartridge of glorious CLC and enhance your Sonic the Hedgehog experience like never before, coming April 1st, 1991. I did not like this. I'm going to be honest. 
Tell us why. I okay. One, the actual tweet pretends uh, it. It kind of makes it seem like it's it's modern. We're excited to introduce the next innovation in gaming. It references DLC, which is of course like I don't think the phrase DLC existed in 1991. The ad itself pretends it's 91. April 1st, 91. Sonic one wasn't out yet why are you advertising this <laughs> the ad wants to be like it's from 1991 but it's not clearly like it, it it's sort of that that thing where like the sonic superstars ads kind of want to be like a 90s commercial but they're not and and this to me feels like something that doesn't quite understand what a 90s ad is that's true like a, a 90s <laughs> 90s magazine would be like fuck your mom and then <laughs> in the corner like two two pictures of the sonic games oh uh, yeah so, yeah so it would say are you fucking stupid <laughs> <laughs> yoshi's island too in the corner yeah it it's yeah like it's not the the text itself is too self-referential it doesn't feel real it doesn't feel i i feel i feel like like the way to do it would have been uh like pretend it's an ad from 93 and tweet it out and be like look what we found in the archives like oh you thought lock hacking technology was designed for sonic and knuckles but it was actually experimented with before although ultimately canceled we found this mock-up ad like that's how you present it don't mention dlc and act like it's something brand new and fancy and you know present it as like an ad for christmas 93 that would that's so right, already that they never released that's good i like that yeah. right like just do that instead of being oh haha it's april 1st 91 i think that's better although i i'm really interested in your mm -hmm. okay you're you're accepting the framing of the thing where we're, okay it's an alternate history where we have a stack of lock-on things but yeah <laughs> it, because it's april instead of june that is unacceptable in this alternate history <laughs> yeah yeah well because it has to be like if it's at april 1st 93 i'm okay with it uh, a bit more okay with it also yeah those aren't lock on cartridges you just stuck no five normal cartridges on top of each other sonic and knuckles is a very distinctive look and look i know yeah i i know also maybe you don't have them all stacked on top of each other maybe you just introduce them as like they all go on a fancy Sonic one, right? Like you have, you swap them in and out. Like you can't have them all together. You're just doing like you want to make a tower of power, but it's not. Look, I was probably way more upset about this ad than I should have been. <laughs> on the other hand, David, yes. uh, comedy dies when you dissect it. So, uh -huh. um, well, I guess I killed it. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear a lot of things that, that way. Frogs. <laughs> Uh, Gex. Ge oh, yeah, Gex. <laughs> Gex definitely died. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, so I, I I wasn't a big fan of it. And yeah, look, I like I said, maybe I'm I'm a bit more get a bit more upset about it than than most. I don't think I saw anyone say this is bad. Maybe, but... maybe you can dry your tears in some some pancakes from what no i hop whoa no i reject that transition we need to talk about <laughs> sonic man april fools because we're still on the topic of april Fools. right that okay, is okay. that was right sega of japan did their own april fools joke which i guess is probably the one that has a bit more effort put into it but it, it is like it, i mean it's done entirely in japanese so unless you speak japanese or translate the website which i found out you could do uh five minutes before we started recording <laughs> Oh yeah! All right, tell us about its movies. You seem very excited by by Sonic. I just I think it's awesome because you said they put more effort into it. Oh yeah, they made an official Sonic Man helmet. I mean, when you look at the photos of this thing, holy crap! How it much does look that good. thing cost to make? Yeah, it looks perfect. It's like I want one myself, but it's a custom job. So what does it cost? Two thousand dollars? Uh, <sighs> all right, I guess I'll be a broke. You could have spent that money on Murder of Sonic too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so um, uh, Sonic Man transcends time and space, comes from the game world mm -hmm. over to our real world, and gets a job and works at Sega, and just like is there to just enthuse people about Sonic. <laughs> and one of my favorite bits of the story is that. They're like, hey, hand out this merch to our employees. And he does it really fast. And they're like, no, 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 don't run in the halls. And then he gets depressed about that. And then he meets Sonic and Sonic's like, hey, I came to the real world, too, to do a little dance video. Uh, do you want to join me? And then 
he has an anxiety attack because it's the real Sonic and he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> what a fantastically perfect story for Sonic Man, I think. Yeah. I like how it ends with him drinking coffee at night because I drink coffee at night. I'm just like Sonic Man. Whoa. And also he's doing it in the same room where they shot the interviews for um, the, uh, Oshino and Yuzuka for when, when they were doing their interviews for... Um, uh, superstars oh they're in the same cafeteria oh they got that nice nice view yeah yeah i guess yeah that's the sega cafeteria wow I, I guess that must be a really nice cafeteria yeah they they moved recently right so they're not in the building where they used to like shove people into windowless rooms and and have the <laughs> force them to retire early this is a kinder gentler sega I wonder if in that cafeteria you could order some pancakes. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. That's the transition. Oh, but I mean, we could have talked about. Was there more Sonic Man? Well, no, not. So... Well, I mean, I do like Sonic Man. I like his look. I want to win one of those shirts, but uh, I feel like you have to live in Japan to win one of those shirts. And also, if you're listening to this podcast, uh, that campaign where you can win one of these shirts will be over by the time you hear this. So, <laughs> so go back in time. Yeah, there was. This wasn't an official April Fool's joke, but it was by somebody who was formerly part of uh, the the Sega Sonic conglomerate. Uh, Jason Griffith decided to join in, and he uh, he he made an homage to the Idris Alba "Knock Knock It's Knuckles" tweet, where he tweeted out, "Oh, I am all of me," and had a picture of Shadow's fist, <laughs> and and he was like, "Oh." Probably got a lot of people's hopes up for a minute <laughs> until they realized what day it was. And then they went, oh, no, I guess he's not actually Shadow, is he? So uh, I thought that was amusing. Um, so I figured that that was at least at least worth mentioning. Now, do your transition. <laughs> do you do you do you think Jason Griffith likes pancakes? <laughs> That's a good question. I know he likes condoms <laughs> <laughs> well that makes it even harder tra to transition to talk about amy like, when, when... <laughs> oh yeah i bet he loves pancakes i bet he is sitting right now in an international house of pancakes and he's eating a stack of blueberry pancakes or a stack of chocolate pancakes that all have fancy names we talked about the fact that the menu uh was leaked out i believe but that was before there was confirmation of when it was happening and it's happening right now. And that it tied into yeah. I hop Amy, which we also talked about where it was like, Oh, that's supposed to be a skin. There was the assumption that maybe it was just like a fun little nod, like, Oh, what would it actually have to do with I hop? But it, it actually deals with I hop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always assumed it would be a real I hop, a real I hop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, Oh, I guess they're doing a cross promo with I hop. Right. All you have to do is buy some pancakes. <laughs> or a, a Knuckles chicken sandwich. All right. Oh, I, I love that it's a Knuckles sandwich, but it's not a Knuckles sandwich. It's a Knuckles chicken sandwich. It's just like that ruins the pun. <laughs> God, you were so close. Yeah. But um, to get um, I hop, Amy, you need five pan coins. And it looks like you can do one of two things. Either order one item with your new rewards account and you can get five pan coins without having to actually spend $25 to get those pan coins or lie about your birthday <laughs> and you'll get five pan coins that way. As long as you sign up seven days before your lied birthday and you should be able to get them. I think that's the stipulation. So there's a lot of people who, who were born on April 12th. It's strange. They're all Sonic fans for some reason. <laughs> it's neat, but also silly. I don't like. I don't mind having these sort of promotions. Uh, I guess they, they've already they already did this with um wait with the Kroger thing, right? Yeah, nobody liked that. Yeah, so like, oh, we're doing it again. But also, oh, you have to have it on a console. <laughs> if you have it on Steam or Epic, you're out of luck. Nope, you can't have IHOP, Amy. <laughs> Sorry, even though we only learned about it because of data, mi data mining, right? From, I'm assuming, the PC version. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so, 
I don't know if that's a mistake on their part and they'll update it later or if there'll be some other way to acquire IHOP Amy, who isn't even dressed in an IHOP uniform. She's not dressed in a modern one. She's not dressed in a 90s one. She's not dressed in an 80s one. Like I was looking it up. I was looking up IHOP uh, outfits and none of them. None of them are actually what she's wearing. That's a little upsetting. I wanted like actual IHOP Amy, not IHOP adjacent Amy that you can get at IHOP. It's supposed to be a blue apron, not a white apron. Also, like, hey, there's versions of the outfit where, like, it had the IHOP logo on the arm cuff. And it's like, hey, there's none of that going on. Uh, it's just, it's, it just, it could be more IHOPy. But then again, like, will, will you be able to get this DLC in the future? Probably not. All right, so who cares? Have it just say the words IHOP. Could become lost media. <laughs> okay. Lost media. <laughs> You're going to have to mod this in gonna mod it i've seen some people say things like uh they saw sonic superstars for 40 pan coins on <laughs> the same app um, which would be like a 200 hundred dollar value and people were complaining about that but it's like well hold on now that's 200 dollars worth of food that you'd be eating and then you get a free game right right you could have all of your cousins <laughs> fed and then as a bonus you got the game yeah yeah, if you really like if you really like eating IHOP, um, I haven't been to IHOP in a long time, but I used to love. It's been a while for me. Does anybody go on dates to IHOP? That would be <laughs> if you've gone on a date in an IHOP. We want to hear from you. Oh. Write us Sonic Weekly Podcast at Gmail dot com. You can hear from me next week. I'm gonna take Becca there this weekend. Oh really? To <laughs> have an IHOP. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I want my goddamn. <laughs> you want your IHOP Amy? <laughs> Retro diner style Amy. Oh, that's gonna be so exciting. Okay, right. You got to tell. Like, have you already figured out, like, what Sonic item you're ordering? Uh, well, speaking of Sonic items, all the Sonic items are just regular menu items. They were they, they were pre-existing items. Yeah. It's hardly even a Sonic uh, synergy. IHOP had an event today, you know. <laughs> Wait, it did? It had a Sonic event. Like, there was a there was an IHOP in California. There was this. Oh, OK. I can't find the tweet at the moment, but there was a a uh, an event at an IHOP that was completely decked out in Sonic the Hedgehog like set pieces like there were actual polygonal palm trees, like 3D versions and rings hanging from the ceiling. And like they went all out to celebrate IHOP and Sonic. And OK. Here, uh, I am acquiring the tweet right now, and I will... P oh. Yes, it, it was... Uh, po tweet acquired. I have acquired... A yes, this tweet was posted by yeah, Talia P um, P right, Piedra, who is... Piedra? Piedra, who is an associate PR manager for Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, oh. she's a Sega employee. Oh, I guess this was yesterday, not today. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> they got three knuckles sandwiches. Yeah. Well, those are cut in half. It's like one oh, you're right. Uncle Sam They're sharing. Yeah. Right. I think those might. Yeah, those are just like oh, to advertise, like prop it up. Yeah. Like, hey, try out this thing that you can buy elsewhere. Oh, well, they're in Chemical Plant. Chemical Plant is right outside the window. Right. I mean, I <laughs> and they got like the sunflowers from Green Hill Zone. They got the Green Hill Zone trees going. Like, they're they went all out. Like, yeah, and and of course the Chemical Plant stuff. That's really neat. They should do that to all the IHOPs, but they probably only did it. For this IHOP, and they did it yesterday, <laughs> but it looked really cool. Uh, the cool thing about these meals that mm -hmm. were, that already existed, yeah, but is uh, is that you can uh, you can get a side of onion rings half off. Whoa! You, you say you want you want it Sonic style when you order any one of these things, you get <laughs> onion rings fifty percent off, baby. I'm into that. Yeah. All right, because I used I used to go I used to go to IHOP a lot as a kid. Uh, I told the story in a Discord somewhere, but I was like, when I was a kid, I was really fascinated by the carafts of orange juice that you could get. <laughs> it was extremely exciting to me because it was like, wow, here's this huge thing full of orange juice. You order that, you get to pour it yourself. Like, you know, you don't have to wait for the for the waiter to come by and refill things. You don't have to order another drink. Like, you have personal autonomy Auto yeah right you have you are an autonomous 
human being, you are self-determinating your life choices, how much orange juice you want to pour. And that was very exciting to me as a child. I was super excited by carafes. I wanted carafes all the time. <laughs> I was into it. I was into it. Also, you know, there's just something about an IHOP pancake. There's a certain taste to it that is also very nostalgic that other pancakes don't necessarily have. Even though there are better pancakes, there is something about an IHOP pancake that will hit the sweet spot, especially when it's two in the morning <sighs> and nothing else is open around you. Are they putting Mega Mac into it? You think that's the secret ingredient? <laughs> Only 90s kids will remember Mega Mac. <laughs> is that what she's drinking in, in that first photo? <laughs> It's good. It's good. I'm excited by that. And yeah, you need to give us a full update. Even if you're not here next week, you should record yourself just explaining <laughs> how great your IHOP experience was and we'll play it. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be so great. <laughs> okay. I'm eating pancakes. <laughs> oh, those were pancakes. They're unlike any pancake you've ever had before. And then I'll uh, go home. Mm -hmm. I'm playing the game as IHOP Amy. Yeah. It's the same. She looks different, though. <laughs> Speaking of different, <laughs> good transition. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so different. Uh, Sega doesn't nor or Sonic doesn't normally have like a a year of this or a year of that. Mm -hmm. Really, like there was sort of a year of Sonic. Well, there's been several of those. Yeah, they don't really do them for other characters much. Often, like Nintendo did a year of Luigi and a year of probably some other character maybe um this is definitely a year of shadow we've had a lot of uh shadow side stuff like shadow generations coming out the mm -hmm. shadow onesie and superstars and there's also uh two shadow lego sets and you know normally we wouldn't really bring up the fact that toys are news but like lego themselves made like this three minute ad super high budget really funny actually good well written Definitely made me the 30-year-old laugh. And uh, it, it, it's introducing a new minifig, Shadow, which is really cool. But it also introduced a Knuckles minifig and a Rouge minifig, which makes me wonder. Also, these additional Lego sets and other Funkos and toys featuring Knuckles and Rouge. Like, we know the Paramount TV show, Knuckles. Is, is, is it just called Knuckles? It's coming out. Yeah. I think it's the the echidna, right? I thought it was just Knuckles. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. I think so, yeah. I trust uh, you. We kind of wonder which new Sonic animal characters will show up in the third movie. Sure is a lot of merch for Rouge lately. Makes me wonder if she's going to be in that third movie. I it, So it could be, but also could be, I don't know, they just, they like to use the 3D models that they have around. Uh, what? Like, I don't know, like the the way they keep trying to make Zavok happen, isn't it just like, hey, we've got this cool model of Zavok? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, because also like Dream Team, they're like, well, we want three boys, three girls. Yeah. So maybe maybe putting Rouge into all these things lately is, well, let's get girls into Sonic. Mm -hmm. It could just be that. Whoa. Maybe there is no Rouge in the new movie. Hey, are you a girl? Oh, man, do you want to play Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, guess what? <laughs> There's girls in the game. S sometimes <laughs> sometimes uh yeah uh it took a while it took a while yeah sonic one sonic two mm -hmm. who are the girl characters it's maddie and her sister rachel oh. <laughs> for a second i thought you were talking about the genesis games and i was like i was too, well yeah. i was like well ricky was well, there's no girls in either, <laughs> right well they forced maybe they... some of the pickies or pockies are girls or right well r remember uh ricky uh, the squirrel was rechristened uh, Sally Acorn. Yeah, I guess that was that was meant to be the girl representation in the original Sonic the Hedgehog. But uh, yeah, yeah, you're you're right. Like we haven't we haven't had any any lady anthros, but and even in the second movie, when Maddie and Rachel are doing their own thing for five minutes during this fifteen minute wedding segment, yeah, when they're when they're doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. They're still talking about men, so it don't even pass the Bechdel <laughs> test. You kidding me, man? Oh, oh man. Oh, man. I, it does set up the best joke in the movie, which is he opens the Bible and it's got the, the gun cut out in it. It's so good. Uh, what a great visual. That is. God, the wedding scenes are my favorite part of that movie. 
the wedding it was a good choice it was a good choice um may may hey you know if they, if they introduce amy maybe they could do a full circle thing where sonic gets tricked to go into hawaii and amy's like oh i'm gonna finally marry you and then uh, you know some people will go oh you're you're making amy be that but then she'll go through character arc and development and then eventually she'll be like i don't need to ever get married and instead shadow will, will get married well to is it someone would that make sense though because amy would be like i i heard rumors of sonic and so i've fallen and i i've fallen in love with the idea of a person yeah but like tails himself has like watched sonic and even knows that sonic likes bubble bass which is weird uh, <laughs> you shouldn't know that tails why do you know that you shouldn't yeah <laughs> too many questions open by that one statement he d- he doesn't know that in the book in the novelization let's make that very clear in the novelization right. tails has no knowledge of that fact that's not i don't know i feel like either way they're definitely going to introduce a character and, and bo i mean you are right that they love to reuse renders models but maybe the fact that rouge is getting the lego minifig which did, does require a bit more effort uh on someone's part yeah might lead credence to the fact that She's having a more prominent role in the franchise in general. I mean, she is in Prime, so like Prime. there, I was there is already, yeah, like there already is a lot of Rouge, so it it is possible that she's still not going to be in these movies. But I, yeah, it's just that if you're bringing Rouge in because of Prime, then mm-hmm. where's Big and where's Froggy? <laughs> I don't. I think yeah. it's because of a Paramount thing. Uh, speaking of Paramount. Uh, and speaking of the release date of this movie, they mm-hmm. haven't pushed it back. There was a writer's strike. There was an actor's strike. And man, they've retained their release date. You know what that tells me? That makes me feel like there's going to be some McDonald's toys. You know how McDonald's <laughs> doesn't let anybody push back their release dates on anything. It's not going to slip. Nope. Right. They they only finished. Yeah, they finished filming like last week when we recorded. We're like, are yeah. they done? So there, there's going to be some crunch. A little bit. A, l- a little bit of rushing, a little bit of crunch. I guess Sonic just can never escape that. They did that for movie one with the model. They've done that for every single game ever released. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Heroes and SA2. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and even the ones that get canceled, they were rushed and crunched and almost died. I mean, I'm hoping Rouge is in this movie. Uh, the the Lego stuff. Hey, I'm just glad that there is all this Lego stuff and that ad. I think is probably one of the uh, best Sonic related ads that we've seen in quite a while. Quite a while. It's very yeah. well written, very well paced, good mm-hmm. acting, good direction, just a good ad. Yeah. Thanks, Lego. You paid for it, probably. <laughs> right. We should just. What if Lego just bought the Sonic brand? <laughs> I wonder, like, what year do you think you could have bought it from Sega? Like, 2013? Do you think they could have unloaded it? The year before they agreed to go with Sammy. Yeah. That's when it would be the cheapest, yeah. They they were, yeah, if you offered them way too much money, they probably would have let it go before Sammy took over. Uh, any other low point? I don't, I don't know if Sammy would have ever gone, well, it's not worth it to us anymore. Yeah, sell it off. I mean, you mentioned 2013, but they were ramping up for Sonic Boom, which they probably, at least Sega of America was like, this is going, this is going to be the one. This is what's going to make Sonic uh, hip again. <laughs> it's going to make Sonic Boom again. <laughs> right. So so maybe 2015, maybe, tw- you know, or 2016. I, I w- yeah, uh, me, that, that, that's what I would go with. It's either those two points. Not now, not with the movies. No, yeah, it's, it's quite a bit more valuable now. Right, the only the only way uh, Sega would sell Sonic is if Sonic is now in the public domain. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't sell it. <laughs> oh, that's the joke, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. God, and being that character in a movie, it's like, did you just say, and then explains the joke. <laughs> I hate that so much. That's right. That's what I did with that uh, April Fool's thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the cartridge and the CL, it doesn't. Okay, well, unless we've got more to say about Rouge, I did promise some some ball news. Oh yes, at the top of the show. Let's go. Okay, uh, I don't know how 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 often you all go on Twitter. It's what I'll always call it. 
And everyone loves Junichi, right? I love Junichi. You know, the, the voice. Can't get enough. Yeah, the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. in Japan. It's been, been the voice since 1998. Well, if you followed Junichi on Twitter, you would have seen today that he accidentally retweeted uh, some, some pornography. Yo, let's go! <laughs> uh, <laughs> of what, what flavor? Uh, it, the flavor of... It's three dudes. Yo, let's do, fucking go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get into detail That's about us. what they're doing. We're but three dudes. We are. Oh, well, no. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if you've, you've been on this website in a while. Like, uh-huh. I feel like our posts are popular enough to get like a spam bot of Sonic Feet in bio. Right. Yeah. If you, underneath them. If you're listening to this, if you could reply to our tweets with Sonic Feet in bio, that's how we know that you're listening. <laughs> our Twitter, of course, is at Sonic Weekly. Um, Actually, don't do that. Do, do Grant's Bio Lizard, which a bio. <laughs> I wish I had thought of that. Oh, that is a, that is a good one. Yeah. So, so some people were like, whoa, because, I mean, you know. <laughs> well, he, I mean. It, it's fine. It's funny. It, it's because like last year, Kishimoto accidentally. Cares? Yeah, no, no, no one should really care. What's happening is you're you're looking at stuff. You don't realize you're logged in and you didn't even mean to press retweet. You were scrolling and your thumb hit retweet on accident or reseat or whatever it's called now. That's exactly what it's called now. That's the trademark you have to put after that. All right. I'm so, um, oh, sorry. Oh, God, I'm going to get sued. <laughs> let's see. I am uh, going to his account. Oh, it looks like he. uh unretweeted it yeah no shit <laughs> it was an accident yes but i mean like who cares that's what he likes all right or maybe he doesn't yes he said i was shocked uh, i'm looking at his his twitter i guess he tweeted um a couple hours ago he according to quick google translate i was shocked i immediately contacted someone who knew about it and changed my password to a more complex one thank you much <laughs> sorry for the inconvenience okay i so, think <laughs> let's say just like hy- hypothetically retweet something you didn't mean to retweet i think what you should do next is like post a bunch of stuff about bitcoin and then people will assume <laughs> like oh yeah he definitely got hacked <laughs> and right, also change it... your profile picture and <laughs> yeah to like right yeah we responded to this as a malicious incident of unauthorized access but we are truly sorry that even if only temporary a post that offended you was displayed and, and i mean if it, if it was somebody hacked it or if he just accidentally was watching something and let people know, either way, it doesn't matter. Like if you are an adult and you're enjoying adult content, it doesn't matter. Uh, and if it you ac- matter, right. And if you accidentally like or retweet something or whatever, it's like, hey, cause you think you're on a different account or whatever. Mistakes happen. Who, who cares? It, it's not the nineties. If you, if you like yeah. a Gex tweet, the Sonic fans aren't going to say you, you traitor, you're on the wrong mascot. Right. Remember, Kishimoto did accidentally like something spicy a few months back, and he was like, oh, I didn't realize that stuff was public. So it's not the first time, and it probably won't be the last time. Maybe if Naka ever comes back on Twitter, it'll be because he, he likes something. <laughs> His hand slips. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Well, let's, go through, let's go through David's likes. Oh, yeah, what are all my likes? I don't know. I don't like a... Uh, I, I like a few things. I don't like a ton of things on Twitter. I liked a tweet that said it's creepy to monitor people's likes, and then that's the only one I've ever liked. <laughs> well, that, that's good. Uh, how many likes do I have? So many. Uh, just like how we have so many episodes of Sonic Weekly. <laughs> oh, the last thing I liked was the uh, Are You Fucking Stupid? Or no, the second to last thing I liked. <laughs> the uh, ads for games in the 90s are the absolute worst. You'd have a two page spread with no screenshots, someone making a stupid face, and a ransom letter font saying, Are You Fucking Stupid? <laughs> then a tiny little Yoshi's Island logo <laughs> in the corner, which I think does tie in all thematically. Yeah. And you know what? We hope that you acquired this podcast 100% legally how does that work when it's free (laughs) well that's because hey you sat down and listened to another episode of sonic weekly using your podcatcher of choice yeah that's right was it apple podcasts was it spotify was it the open source wonder that's podcast addict do you have to list them (laughs) well i mean i think it it helped like you know sometimes 
It's part of the. Does it? Can't do a list of two. I have to. That's lame. Yeah, right. You gotta get. You gotta do three. Or do you have to do a list at all? <laughs> <laughs> You know, because what if people don't realize any of those exist? What if they're on YouTube and they don't know about podcasters? It is at Sonic Dash Weekly. That's right. Don't forget the at and don't forget the dash because you will go somewhere else (laughs) if you forget them. And there you can listen to this on YouTube with gameplay footage from Jack of Old Games, who's been on this show before and will probably show up again at some point in the future yeah that's right that's sizzle i love sizzle because sometimes you know like you're waking up you want breakfast you're like oh what am i gonna do you make a couple eggs maybe put a little sausage on the griddle that's sizzling yeah and while you're sizzling you could email us at sonicweeklypodcast at gmail.com tell us what you're sizzling what makes you sizzle i don't know that might be a bit too dangerous tell us what sizzling tweets you would retweet whoa yeah and then you can also ask to get into our discord server the only way to get in is by emailing and saying send me that link and you'll be able to talk to some like-minded sonic the hedgehog fans oh yeah we've got a few in there and we talk about sonic and sometimes we don't talk about sonic there's other channels I think I mentioned before, hey, I might read some comments. Did you know that Jerry XP Gaming 4682 on YouTube on our last episode with Keith John Stack said we may have lost the Applebee's sponsorship, <laughs> but we get closer to a Sonic Heroes remake? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Leave a like if you're feeling luppy luppy today, said Chef 45 I don't know if I should say their names. Look, it's YouTube. It's all public. It's movies. <laughs> Thank you for the edit. Bo. Thank you for being in orbit around Saturn. And, uh, and Gra- hey, <laughs> yeah. Grant, thank you for doing this normally. It's much harder than it looks. Yeah, like we're a complete and total mess. Like I say, hey, you know, Smoothies <laughs> edits it. It makes this sound good. But also, if you're not here, it's, it's, it's infinitely harder. Okay, okay. I think that's it. I think that's it. Hey, let's, uh, let's go get some pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Om nom nom. We'll be back next week to talk about the fucking pancakes. Ha 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 ha